Welcome to DorkFiles.com Annual Elf 2 Flash Recovery Process. In this video we will show you how to flash any sort of ROM, whether it's retail, distributed, altered, modded, custom, any type of Annual Elf ROM using the 3E recovery base system. Alright, here we go. First things first, you're going to want to make sure that your Annual Elf 2 tablet is fully charged. If it's not fully charged, you're taking a risk. We suggest the full charge. Okay, you're going to grab your tablet. We have ours out already. It should be fully charged. and If not fully charged, then 99%. You're going to remove the power. Going to turn on the tablet. You're going to unlock the device. You're going to hold the power button. You're going to be prompted with a question of do we want to shut down or not? The answer is yes, we want to shut down. Press OK, give it a graceful shutdown, a nice clean reboot. Once your tablet is fully powered off, this video assumes that you have all the required items such as the ROM, the flash files, anything that was included in your package that you're trying to put on your Novo Elf 2 tablet. Anything that you need, make sure you have it right now before we go to this next step. Okay, so in step two of this, after shutting down your tablet properly, you're going to want to make sure you have your micro SD card present with your files on it. You cannot flash without a micro SD card. You need to have one. We have one in this. This is a PNY Authentic 16G Class 10. I'm going to put this back into the tablet. Give it a gentle push until it clicks. Okay, assuming you have everything ready, you're going to look up. You're going to have your power button, your volume controls, and your home button. You're going to hold volume down and power at the same time. Once you see this little Android man, you can let it go after two seconds. You should now enter the ELF recovery. Okay, once in the recovery, this camera is not displaying so well uh, due to the reflection on the screen. But it says the Android System Recovery 3E, Android System Recovery Utility. You have the options of pressing the power button to say yes and the arrow button down or sorry the volume button down to move. So you're going to press down. Your first option is reboot system now. The next is apply an update from SD card, meaning your micro SD. The next is the perform a data and backslash factory reset, meaning you will lose all your data and it will clean your uh, your partition. You can wipe the cache A partition next. Next you have an apply an update from the cache A, which is your internal card, but it's not suggested. It's quite difficult to do and can cause massive issues, such as breaking your tablet. Wipe the media partition will just clear your SD card's partition in general. Okay, so we're going to press the volume down once again, which will bring us back to the top. You go into visit apply update from SD card, press the power button. From here you will choose whichever zip file you have to flash. So in this case we have a directory that we're going to visit called ROMs. We have a lot of ROMs. We have a bunch of different tools. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go once again back. As you can see this is a navigation system that works fine. You can choose your zip. Once you found the one that you're looking for, press the power button. It will then tell you it's installing from the SD card. This process can take some time depending on the actual ROM contents. It usually doesn't take too too long, however it will take some time. So if you want to grab a coffee or... Eh, it's not really enough time for a coffee, but if you want to take a quick break from the computer or your tablet, just this is the time to do it. I won't edit this from the video, the actual flash process. I want to show people that it does take some time, so no one panics when they do this.
and if everything went right you will see install from SD card complete that doesn't mean that the ROM is right it means that it installed properly if you have any other packages now is the time to also apply them so if your specific ROM has a root patch such as this one we'll apply that and lastly we have the option to wipe the data in factory since this ROM is different than the prior one we will do this it will make you choose yes and once you do this there's no going back that's it it's formatted you now choose reboot your system now or go play with the other options it's entirely up to you but this covers the basis of entering the recovery and flashing a ROM the ROM is now flashed to this tablet enjoy and I hope this video helps you